Hello everybody. Today we're gonna make something using a can. Just a regular can that you would throw in recycling. Right, here's a refried bean one. I'm gonna start that one to show you. I made one using a cat food can and I made one using some kind of soup can. And I'm gonna show you about wrapping them up and decorating them. Putting felt on the bottom and inside and then they make a great little thing to put pens and pencils in. This makes a great one to put any kind of little stuff you have in your room that's loose. Um, anyway, it's fun. And I like the whole thing about the can, right? I can, we can, together we can. Yes, we can. Get through this, we're doing it, baby. So, here's one that I put magazine on and I wasn't crazy about it. So I made another piece that I stamped all over different stamps and what I'm gonna do is is take these color pencils and it'll be fun for me to color this in different little things however I feel like doing it right that's gonna take some time so I'm gonna do that later and then I'm gonna glue it around this can okay then if you have felt at home take the can Put it upside down, take a marker, draw around the can twice. And the reason you do that is you're going to cut that out and then glue it to the bottom of the can. It makes like a nice little thing so it sounds like that when you put it down and it protects the surface and then when you put one inside it keeps the pencils from going clang when you put them in and it goes bump very nice anyway it's fun and it looks cool and if you do it with this one it's really obvious right let me show you this I could use a lighter color marker really for this but you have to cut inside of it anyways cut inside of the line because otherwise it will be too big to fit in there. So I'm going to show you. Show you this part. Kind of starting from the end, but there's really no end or beginning. You can start anywhere. So here we go. Cutting on the inside of the color. I am not super good at cutting exactly, exactly, so it may be a little wobbly, wonky, but that's okay. And I'm gonna take the side that had the marker on it and put it upside down in there. And see, that looks cute, right? So then I'll take a bunch of glue in the bottom so that it will really stick in there. Put that in, make sure my painty edge edge with the marker is down and I see that it's still a little big actually for the inside I'll show you so you can see it's maybe going up the sides a little bit but big whoop but if I'd have put that in there and looked at it a little more carefully I could have just trimmed a little bit off before I glue it in but that's fine it works just perfect and then that looks really cute right and then we'll cut this one out same deal. That one on the inside. And I just want to show you one finished with the felt so that you know what that looks like. If you don't have felt at home, because not everybody does, um, you know, use, and then this again, I'm going to put quite a bit of glue on here. Because felt sucks the glue in, it absorbs into the felt, and so. Now that's a little big too, actually. That's a little big too, so I'm just gonna kind of mush it around on the bottom to see if I can make it. So a good idea is, if you're not in a hurry making a video of this, <laughs> um, 
take it, take a look at it and see if it's too big before you put it on and then trim a little bit off, right? Um, I can do that with it being gluey, but it's not the best idea for your scissors. I'm just gonna do it anyway right now. Just trimming a little bit off of it so it'll fit better. See, I'd like it to just be like that. But anyway, there you go. That's the idea, right? Cute. So what you do is you take the label off of here. The, how you know how, what size to make this, like how I knew to make this this size, take the label off, okay? Usually it has one strip of glue somewhere. So I just usually take my fingernail and, and get it going somewhere and then pull down. So you're gonna rip it a little bit, but just try and um, rip it as little bit as you can so you have an idea of how wide it is. Okay, you come up on the other side there. Okay, there. And then see how it's, it's glued on in this one place? So just carefully pull it off so you don't rip the paper. And then you've got basically how big of a piece you need. So you can take a piece of paper, Put that on there. Maybe you can't see that too well with that there. And then take your ruler. So I've got it on the edge over here. And then the other side, I'm putting the ruler up here. I'm gonna make a mark with a pencil, just a little light mark. And it's stuck on there with its glue. Cut that, and it doesn't matter that it's a little longer because it can just wrap around the can and glue onto itself, and that's fine. Or you can take a look at it later. So I'm cutting right on the line, best I can. And then take your can that the label came off of, and see how that fits on there? And it's got an overlap, a bit of overlap there. So that really doesn't matter. I could just glue it right onto itself. So now you could decorate that with stickers. You could decorate it with stencils. You could put that down and decorate it with that. Oh, it's stuck on the can there. Look at that, it's stuck onto the glue. Um, you could just draw freeform stuff on there. You could cut things out of magazines and um, words you like or whatever, pictures of things and glue them on. So there's a lot of ways to decorate it. And then remember to put some felt, or if you don't have felt and you have some kind of um, like colored paper, just do colored paper instead of felt. And any colors, right? You can do whatever color you want. So have fun with that. And remember, we can make it. Get it? Have a good day. Mwah.